Hello, and welcome to my tutorial series on how to make a collective card game in Unity. In this video, we're going to create a visual representation of both our player and our opponent, but also we're going to add a health meter to them that's both going to work visually when we push play. These circles are going to change their health amounts that are going to be linked to these circles right here. And they're also going to change visually uh, in a written manner right here in these boxes. Let's get started. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to go get our circle asset. I'll have a link below to this Google Drive folder. Or in the future, there might be a different link down there. But right now, it's this Google Drive folder. You have this circle PNG right here. You can just download this. Going back into Unity, I'm going to go... I have downloaded it already. It's right here on my desktop. I'm actually just going to put it right here in this resource folder. And I'm just simply going to grab it, drag it, and place it right there. And there is our circle PNG. So now we're going to go up to our canvas. And then we're going to right click on it. We're going to create an empty child or an empty game object. And we're going to call this one simply player health for now. And now what we have here is our empty game object. And inside of this, we're going to go down to UI and we're going to go down to image and we'll just call this player image. And now here is where you would put a picture of your main player. You can choose any picture of you, excuse me, any picture you like for that. And then also here, we're going to create another image. And this is where our, our circle is going to go. So we're just going to call this player, or actually we'll call it H hit point circle. And now in this image, in the source image, that's where we're going to put our circle, which you can't see right now, but we'll go ahead and increase its width and its height by that much just for now. And you can change it and make it whatever you want. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on color and we're going to make it red. And now with this other image, or actually you can even use the circle a couple more times. You can, you can create layers of circles. I'll, I'll let y'all do this right now. Let's go ahead and let's hit control D. There we go. And we'll just call this one, I'll just rename this circle. Like so, and we'll go over here and on the second circle, we'll just, we'll just change the size a little bit and we'll change it to 180. And now we have another circle there, but let's go ahead and just make this black. And now we can just create some, some nice aesthetics with one very simple shape here. So we have our, our health circle and you'll see how this is going to work. And this inner circle will be an inner border. And then in this picture right here, like I said, you can put anything. Let me go back to player image. Let me just grab my comic book heroes. And boom, they're right in there. Maybe we can increase this by a little bit. Is 140 too big? Let's try 150 by 150. And then you can always just add another image behind this. And, you know, that could be a border. Let's, let's see how that would work. Let's just go ahead and just add another image. So you could see how, you know, you just, just be creative with what you have here. And we'll call this background. How you can be, oh, actually we want to put this up so it's in the hierarchy. So, so whatever we put up here is behind everything else. So I can go ahead and increase the size of this a little bit. Oops, not that big. 150, let's say just by 150. It doesn't have to be quite so perfect. And we can just change this background to, actually maybe we could just keep it as white. Probably going to take off those last two, but you get the point how you can just take your images and these simple other pictures and just layer them one on top of the other to create this effect and to have now a little bit of a player. Actually, let's go ahead and let's move our let's move our deck panel. Let's move it over here because it's really just an aesthetic. It has no it's not really an actual game functioning object. We'll put it here in the corner. I think that's good for now and. Let's just take our little player health thing for now. Our little, our little character creator. We'll just put it right here. Just for now. I think that'll be out of the way of the hand. We'll probably move it later. So as you can see, there's many. I'm actually going to take some of these out. Because I'm probably going to put something different later. So we can delete that. And then for the player image, I'm just going to remove my comic book heroes. 
but you, you get the point of, of how this should work. So now we're going to add one more thing to our player here. And that is we're going to add another image. UI image. And we're just going to call this health text. And we're going to actually we'll, we'll change up the color here. Just so we can see it. And I'm going to make its height 50 and maybe make its width 150, maybe a little less than, let's say 125. It's not really that important. Make it whatever you like. I'm just gonna lower it right here for now. I'll probably change it up or make it different. But in this health text, I'm going to create another UI element and that's just gonna be a text element. And we'll call this health point text, just like that. And I'm gonna go over here and I wanna center this text and I want to center it vertically also. Change the font to let's say 20 just so we can read it. And I'll just leave it right that. And here I'm going to put, let's say 25,000 HP just to throw out a, excuse me, throw out a random number that's going to be there that we can change later on. So this is going to be a, a numerical representation of our text right here written, but we're also going to have the circle move also. So now we're going to go back to our health point circle here. And right here under image type, we have a drop down menu and we have a couple choices of how we want to um, set up this image. So we're going to actually going to go to filled because it's going to be a filled image. And here we have uh, radio 360 already filled in because it's a circle, but there's many different options. If it was a bar, we can do it horizontally, vertically, or the radios could be different, but we want to leave it there at 360. And also we have some choices between top, right, bottom, and we're going to do this from the top. We want to leave the fill amount to be one and clockwise. Yeah. So unclick clockwise. And as you can see, when I did that, I took this slider and I moved it and the fill bar shrunk. And that's exactly what we want to do when our health changes. We want to be able to see this bar shrink down, but I want it in the other direction. So unclick clockwise. And so, yeah, I want it to go in this direction and you can use the other direction. I don't think it's going to make too much of a different, uh, excuse me, difference and cold transparent mesh. I guess we can leave there like that. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to script this. We're going to right click in our scripts folder here and we're going to go up to create C sharp script. We're going to create a C sharp script called player health points. And I'm going to open that up and we're going to go into visual studio. Now I already created another script here just to save time typing. So what we're going to do or what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to this one and I'm going to copy it. Now I'm just going to paste this information right here, just like so, so we can save a little time so you don't have to watch me type all the time. And basically right here, we, we've created two static floats, two, two floats that are not going to change. And one's going to be called max health points for the, the total math, health, excuse me, max health points. And then we're going to have our static health points, which is right now just the, the health points we're going to fill it in. So the max is going to be 25,000 and we're just going to leave this at 2000, which is about 80%. And then we're gonna have a public float, which is gonna be our hit points. We're gonna have an image for our health, which is gonna be our, our little health circle and the text for filling it in. So at the start, we're gonna fill in our health points and our static health points, but then as it updates, and you know, this is more important in the future, we're just kind of setting up right now for the other things we're gonna use in terms of the player getting hit when we do the, the attack and stuff like that. So when it sets up every, Every uh, frame, the health points is going to be equal to the static hit points. And then health amount dot fill amount is going to be the health points divided by the max health points, which actually in this case, we, we just set to the static hit points. So when we turn it on, it'll be 2000 divided by 25, I'm sorry, 20,000 divided by 25,000. Maybe I should change those numbers later, but that's what it's going to be. And then it's going to be that percentage. 
And then it's going to say, you know, if the health points is greater or equal to the max health points, then it's going to equal to the health points just in case we do a healing. The healing doesn't heal us for more than it should. And then in health points text, which is our text, it's simply going to fill in the text or I'm sorry, fill in the health points, which in this case would be 20,000. And then it's going to add the letters HP right there next to it. So that's what that means. I'm filling in the variable plus the actual written HP in quotation marks. So I'm gonna hit save, and we're gonna go back into Unity. So we're gonna click on our Unity editor. We're gonna allow our scripts to compile. I'm gonna go over here to the HP circle. That's the outer red circle that's here. I'm gonna take our player health point script. We're gonna attach it to it. Our health points are zero. Just for now, that's what how that's gonna remain. So for health, we have an image right here. That's gonna be the actual HP circle right here, our red circle that's on the outside. And our HP text are, is the text right here in this box. We're just gonna take that and put that right there. So now when I hit play, the static hit points right now are 20,000. So when I hit play, it's going to go to 20,000 and you're gonna see this shrink down. And, and later on, we're going to add on code that will, you know, when, when one player or the AI or anything, any opponent attacks and, and removes health, this will dynamically lose health. And you'll see it visually in the circle and the box right here. So go ahead and hit play. And then our cards will go into our hand. As you can see, automatically, it just, because we had it at the start right here, we set it at the start to be equal to 20,000 and then HP is equal to that. And normally we wouldn't do that. We would just start it off at that amount, but you know, we want to, we want to make sure we can, we can declare it and set it. So right away it went to, it, it, it went to 20,000 and it filled it right here. And then also it filled it right here into the text. So now to create our opponent's health game object, we're simply going to duplicate this. We're going to right click. We're going to go down to duplicate. I'm going to right click again. And we're going to go to rename and I'm going to put opponent health. And the one thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to just change up. I'm going to get rid of this script and I'm just going to put in a new one for the opponent, but it's essentially going to be the same thing for right now. So we're going to remove that component. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to right click, go up to create C sharp script. And I'm just going to put opponent HP, just like that. And we're going to open this up. And we're just going to take all this in here. And we're going to copy it. We're going to put it all in there like so. I'm going to control V to paste. And then we also need this right here. Simply going to copy. And then paste in right there because you need unity engine.ui in order to have in order to use UI elements. So I'm going to hit save. And we're going to go back into unity. And our script's going to be fine. And we're going to go to our hit point circle. We're going to attach this script here. And essentially the same thing. We're going to put this circle here. And we're going to go here, grab this text, put it there. And now actually in this one, I'm going to make it just a little bit different for the opponent. Let's, let's just make it a lot lower just to see that they're working differently. So let's put that at 5,000. And let's let this assemble. And now actually we got to move our opponent because here he is. So we have now have two circles right there, one for us and one for our opponent. And now when I hit play, we'll see the cards go into our hand and right automatically, this is about 5,000 on our hit points and this is about 20,000. So that's it for today. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter and support me on Patreon. And a big special thanks to all my Patreon supporters. All links are in the description below. See you next time.